food for thought. Last month, a consumer group listed some of the unhealthiest dishes served at popular restaurant chains, food packed with calories, salt, and fat. And that got us to wondering just how unhealthy can this food be and what happens when you make just one meal of it? Our Yunji Denise found out. Deep fried macaroni and cheese, a bacon cheeseburger wrapped in a quesadilla, a giant cookie smothered in ice cream. The Center for Science and the Public Interest calls them nutritional train wrecks. Producer John Garcia and I went to the University of Maryland's Medical Center to see what the effect would be on our bodies. Before we ate, researchers took blood samples and gauged the health of our arteries with an ultrasound. It's a very healthy pulsating. Now comes the fun part. We get to eat a whole lot of lunch. <laughs> bon appetit. Our one meal, appetizer, entree, and dessert, packed more than three times as many calories as the government recommends for an entire day and almost ten times the saturated fat. Two hours later, it was time to test. John, how are you feeling? Still sluggish. Still tired. John's blood samples said it all. And essentially, you can see what a clear difference. This is fat in his blood, basically. All that fat goes right to your arteries. Mine narrowed, and you can hear the difference. Here's what my blood flow sounded like before eating. And this is after. Your heart is working twice as hard now. And is that because those arteries are so much smaller? Yes, it's narrow arteries. It shows that one meal can affect your, the health of your artery. Cardiologist Robert Vogel and Michael Miller analyzed our results. What's worse, eating a quesadilla cheeseburger or smoking a cigarette? I'd say they're equally bad. Each and every meal that you eat is important to the health of your artery. And, and since we, we live by our arteries, your, your survival depends on it. The effects of that one meal only lasted about six hours, but doctors say eaten regularly, this is the food that heart attacks are made of. Yanji Denise, ABC News, Baltimore.